After the Reeds warned Brown that his excessive use of wagging into summer would eventually result in a loss of identity, Brown spots a weirwood tree. He orders Hodor to take him to it. After making contact with the tree, Brown states that he knows where they have to, the cave of the three-eyed raven. Hodor is captured by the mutineers alongside his companions when they scout Craster's keep and attempt to free Summer and Ghost. While Bran, Jojin, and Mira are taken inside the keep, Hodor is chained up outside and abused by the mutineers. Rast stabs Hodor in the leg with a spear and chastises him for not fighting back, stating that if he was as big as Hodor, he would be king of the fucking world. Locke attempts to kidnap Bran during the raid on Craster's keep, Bran wags into Hodor and ambushes Locke. Using his immense strength, the Bran-controlled Hodor lifts Locke off the ground and snaps his neck. Hodor is visibly disturbed when he regains control of his body. He later escapes with the rest of his companions. As the group continues to travel north, they finally arrive to the heart tree from Bran's visions. The sun is low on the horizon as they are approaching the tree, and the group is soon ambushed by skeletal whites. Bran wags into Hodor again to fend them off, but there are too many of them. As they are about to be overwhelmed, one of the children of the forest saves the group with her magic fireballs. Hodor carries Bran into the cave beneath the heart tree where the whites cannot reach them, and brings him near the three-eyed raven.